So Collision wasn't the only big wrestling thing that happened this week. Uh, it's also official that Logan Paul is back uh, showing his face on WWE television, and he's figured out a way to use his celebrity to worm his way into the Money in the Bank match in London. So now Logan Paul is the odds-on favorite to win the 2023 WWE Money in the Bank briefcase and championship map con- or match contract. Now, I get it. I understand this. I get what WWE is doing here. Logan Paul, he's not just a social media sensation. He's, he's a brand. He's a business. And, and, he, and he comes with a very large audience, an audience that's possibly the size of, of small, like a couple small countries. And it's an audience that's loyal to Logan Paul that will tune in to see Logan Paul do anything that Logan Paul does, especially the formulaic wrestling that, that we've come to know from Logan Paul. Get in the ring, hold your own, hit a couple big spots, and then let the rest of the guys kind of carry the match to the finish line. That's not a knock on him. That's a formula that's worked perfectly for Logan Paul. So I understand what WWE is doing here. I, I understand that by adding Logan Paul to Money in the Bank, you just, you just added millions and millions of eyeballs to the premium live event. It, it makes sense, right? It's 100% a business move, and it's a brilliant business move. But I, I think I'm on to something here. I think I, I think I can see through the smoke and mirrors. I think I can smell through the bullshit in this situation because I think this was a very intelligent play by Triple H. I think this is smoke and mirrors. I think... This is a swerve to get everybody looking at Logan Paul so that we can we can be surprised when the man that's actually deserving to win the match wins. Because let's, let's be clear. Let's be real clear on one thing. As exciting as it is to have Logan Paul back, and money in the bank especially, there's only one man who truly deserves to win the money in the bank briefcase. And that man goes by the name of L.A night why because he's over organically over no bullshit over the crowd cheers for him every time he steps out doesn't matter what city they're in doesn't matter if they're in an arena a stadium people are hyped for la night he's simply over it's constant fanfare for L.A. Knight. doesn't matter if he's in the ring with Rey Mysterio. It doesn't matter if he's in the ring with Logan Paul. The fans pop for L.A. Knight. L.A. Knight has shown that even with terrible stories, he still has enough drive and tenacity and raw talent to get to the top. Let's talk about the bullshit Bray Wyatt story he was put in or how he was asked to job for Xavier Woods. But let's be honest, guys. There's nothing better to watch and nothing more dangerous in WWE than somebody who has found the love of the crowd and also has the, the, the ability to embarrass any other superstar when he picks up a microphone. That's LA Knight. I'll take it one step further, though. If Logan Paul somehow manages to win this Money in the Bank match and LA Knight is once again left with nothing moving forward, no no storyline that makes sense. There is a high possibility, and I'm not bullshitting. There's a high possibility that I just turn off my fucking TV for a couple of weeks and completely boycott WWE. I'll turn my attention to AEW Collision if you want me to, WWE. And it's not that I have anything against Logan Paul. It's just there's one man who deserves to win this match. I actually really like Logan Paul. I've enjoyed him in the WWE. But if WWE panics at the last minute and hands this victory to Logan Paul instead of the homegrown organic talent of LA Knight, who's built himself a spotlight, there's going to be an incredibly sour taste in my mouth. And I think it's sour enough that I'll need a couple of weeks to recover. Now, despite all of my concerns, I I will admit 100%, I'm actually enjoying the buildup to this year's money in the bank adding logan paul absolutely adds an element of surprise it adds a wild card it will make it more fun to watch that's fine it's, it's going to be fun but the stakes are high for me in this one 
I've got, you know, I've put a lot of attention on LA night. I am a huge LA night fan. I, this cannot be the point in time where he lets me down. This is shaping up to be a pretty fire money in the bank. So at the end of the night, if this becomes the night of Logan Paul, it's, it's probably going to be the last night I watch for a while. Cause there's only one night that truly matters. And that's L a night. All right, so let me know who you want to see win Money in the Bank in the comments. Are you pulling for L.A. Knight? Or are you, a uh, as, as L.A. Knight said, a teenage girl and hoping that Logan Paul wins the Money in the Bank this year? Or is there somebody else that you think is a long shot that could possibly pull it off? Let me know.